Welcome to Electron Line. One really good way to get a better understanding of what momentum is is to compare it to kinetic energy because quite often we get the two quantities confused or at least the two concepts confused. There's three main differences between momentum and kinetic energy. First of all, momentum is a linear function of velocity. In other words, you double the velocity, you double the momentum. You triple the velocity, you triple the momentum. So you can see that if you draw a graph where we have momentum versus velocity here, that you have a straight line and that the slope of that line equals the mass of the object. P equals m times v looks a whole lot like y equals mx plus b. In this case, we don't have a y-intercept or a p-intercept because if the velocity is zero, you don't have any linear momentum. So if this goes away, you can see that the two equations are extremely similar. And the mass is the slope of that graph. Kinetic energy, on the other hand, is a quadratic function of v. The kinetic energy is one-half mv squared, which looks a whole lot like y equals one-half kx squared, k being some constant. In this case, the constant is, again, the mass of the object. But notice that as velocity increases, kinetic energy increases much faster. You double the velocity, you quadruple the kinetic energy. You triple the velocity, you have nine times the kinetic energy. That's not the case with momentum. The second main difference between the two, that in a collision, momentum is always conserved. Just like we saw in the first video, whatever the momentum of the system was, the momentum of each individual piece of objects colliding with one another, when you add up all the momentum after the collision, you get the exact same momentum as you did when you add up all the momentum of the objects before the collision. With kinetic energy, that's not at all the case. In other words, in a collision, kinetic energy is never conserved. Now you say, well, wait a minute. I've had problems in my textbook where, momentum, where kinetic energy is conserved, and that's only in a textbook. In the real world, kinetic energy is never conserved. Although, to get more practice in physics and in a textbook, sometimes we say that the collision was 100% elastic or simply was elastic, but in the real world, that doesn't occur. Now, at the quantum mechanical level with atoms and electrons and protons, yes, that can occur, but in everyday life, when we do problems in our textbook, Unless it says it's 100% elastic, which of course is just a fictitious thing, just like there's no wind resistance in our problems in physics either, we can say that in a collision, kinetic energy is never conserved. You always will lose some energy when things collide. And finally, notice that momentum is a vector quantity, just like we showed in the first video. So when an object is moving to the right, we can say that it has positive momentum. When an object is moving to the left, we can say that it has negative momentum. And we do have to keep those directions in mind when we start working out problems involving momentum. On the other hand, kinetic energy is a scalar quantity. And since kinetic energy is equal to one-half mv squared, since the velocity is squared, a squared velocity can never be negative because it's squared, and of course the mass can never be negative. In other words, kinetic energy can never be negative. That's not the case with momentum, because since it's a vector quantity, it can be moving in a positive or negative direction, and therefore it can have positive or negative momentum. Kinetic energy can only be positive, and it's a scalar quantity. So those are the three main differences between momentum and kinetic energy, and hopefully that will help you understand what momentum is.